What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style back today with another street style reaction video. This time we are taking a look at some shots from the most recent Pitti Uomo. Well, judging by the comments on the London street style reaction video I did last week, I think you guys are definitely going to be more into the looks that we're gonna to see today from Florence. Pitti, of course, is a humongous menswear trade show that is attended by brands, designers, buyers, editors, and not just a place where a bunch of really stylish dudes stand around smoking cigarettes and those little Italian cigars <laughs> looking to get their photo taken. You know, there definitely is some of that. People just want to be seen and have their picture taken and end up in one of these you know, street style roundups. As I'm sure you know, they are known as the Pitti Peacocks. They have no reason to be there and they are lame. <laughs> there is actually a very funny mockumentary about this phenomenon that I will link to down below in the description. But seriously though, on this topic, I want, just want to say that if you are going to one of these events, whether it's Pity or Fashion Week, for the sole purpose of standing around to get your photo taken, you need to take a huge step back and reconsider what it is exactly that you are doing with your life. I mean, seriously. Okay, rant complete. Let's get into looking at the street style from Pitti. I'm actually gonna be using two roundups today. The first is from British GQ, and the second one is again from Vogue Online. I thought it would be interesting to have both perspectives since one publication is more menswear specific and the other is more on the fashion side. So, here we go. <clears throat> All right, let's see. <clears throat> Robert Spangle, Thousand Yard Style, great photographer. Um, definitely recommend checking out his Instagram. So. Looking forward to seeing these photos. This is kind of like a strange photo to start off with, I think, but anyway, let's get into this. Okay, <laughs> we are off to the races here. So <clears throat> I like the pleat on the trousers and obviously the, the classic color palette. Oh, you can see that this is a, he's got a coat underneath and it's kind of this blanket shawl thing, not really, for me, but uh, you know, let's see if we can zoom in here. All right, moving on. I mean, <clears throat> that's a great flannel suit and uh, I can't, oh, we can zoom in. So let's check out his shirt here. Can't tell if that's a pin, no, oh, it might be a tab collar, which is nice, that's cool. But let's go down to the watch. Oh, you see what that is? That is the IWC Ingenieur, um, the Genta version. So that that's pretty awesome. Very nice detail. <clears throat> that's a watch you don't see very often. Going on, Superco. I mean, this is a good example of, of dressing your body type. Um, it's definitely more on the kind of progressive side. He uses like a nice, um, not what you would maybe consider classic, but still it's a great look and the interesting use of the beret there. Okay, here we go. Some um, white jeans here and a military inspired jacket, um, some good layering. Nice um, Persol 749s there. <clears throat> I don't know how cold it is there. I mean, based on some of the other looks we've seen so far, I'm assuming it's kind of chilly. So to me, this is like, you know, you would uh, be a little cold without a scarf or uh, a, a tie of some sort, but hey, I like the, the color of the frames of the uh, Persols. That's nice, a nice little contrast to the rest of the look. All right, next one. Very cool look. I... So let's just talk about how this coat is belted. I think um, if you've ever tried to belt a coat like this and, and have this, this knot like he has here, it's very difficult to do. Um, to have it look so perfect like that, but perfectly, like like he didn't care about it, but he obviously did spend a lot of time doing that. Um, it's done very well. It's a lot, very loose silhouette. It's not not really my style, but but I like the coat. I think the overall look is, is really, really cool. 
<clears throat> here's a very classic look. Um, let's zoom in and check out the coat here. Yeah, the herringbone. I love that the lapels are are super super nice. I like that. Um, love the little pop of his glasses there, and it looks like he is wearing a. I was gonna say chalk stripe, which it looked like from a distance, but when you get in closer, you can see that. It's not exactly a chalk stripe. <clears throat> One little interesting thing that I notice here that I'd like to point out is that um, he's wearing a scarf, but the scarf is tucked inside the suit jacket, which I think is, is brilliant. <laughs> um, if you've ever worn a scarf like that and, and under a coat, but not tucked in, you know, like it'll fly all over the place and it can be kind of annoying. So I think this is like a really nice practical solution um, to dealing with that problem. And it's very stylish too. Nice look. Nice color combo, very tonal. Um, the belt belt is cool. It's very, very um, kind of comfortable and casual, which is nice. Looks like he's standing by the place to get his photo taken. Simple, classic. Again, we're seeing white pants here. I'm gonna say it right now that um, when we look back at this, we're gonna say that uh, white trousers or white jeans or any kind of white pants are a trend that will say came out of this pity. Moving on. Love a great brown suit. Um, what's going on here is pretty nice. I mean, we have some pretty simple pattern mixing in the shirt, uh, with the shirt and the tie. The shirt is a very, let's zoom in so we can see. Yep. It's kind of a check. And then the tie has a very bold stripe. If you've seen the pattern mixing video that we did, this is a very good example of that. We have one, one, two patterns, one small, one bold, and the tie becomes the focal point of the outfit. I just want to check out the suit here. Okay. I thought there might've been some kind of like looks it's hard to tell from the photo but I think it's a herringbone but let's talk about this coat also which is looks like a really wide whale corduroy coat in a really deep green which is beautiful I want it because it pairs very very nicely with the brown well done another really really nice coat with the belt It's a cool um, complimentary couple there. One thing I see is uh, that's neat is, is the, the wallet she's carrying <clears throat> is pulled in with the color of her sock. And that's a beautiful belted suede safari jacket, I'm gonna call it. Yeah, very nice. And two, two very nice light colored turtlenecks. Dig it. <clears throat> White trousers again, I think, again, this is sort of more on the um, uh, fashion forwardy side of what you would see. I'm not sure, not sure or, uh, who this person is, but uh, so <laughs> can I just point this out here? So I have this joke that uh, I call this menswear thumb. It's like models kind of do this, which leads me to believe that maybe. Oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name, but yes, he does sort of that kind of thing. So he's a uh, uh, influencer, Italian in influencer. So that that's that's why he's doing menswear thumb. <laughs> I was gonna make that a meme, or I was gonna try to. No one would care. Anyway, moving on. Very sharp suit right there. Uh, <clears throat> I want to check out the collar because either it's a really well done collar or it's a, um, ah, shoot, it's a tab collar. Let's see if we can tell. Oh, no, it's a button down collar. All right. It's nice how it breaks around the tie there. All right. Next look. There's Angel looking good. Very um, monochromatic there. Nice tie, pop of color there. All right, next look. <clears throat> All right. 
Let's start with the gentleman on the right. He's wearing white pants. <laughs> so we have a very nice tonal outfit here. Like I like how the uh, <clears throat> he pulls in the browns in the sock and then he's got white pants on. Um, but then if you look like, so what I'm noticing here is that I was expecting it to have a cuff and there is no cuff here. It looks more like the bottom is, yes, the bottom is sort of like torn or unfinished, which is really interesting. Um, all right. I mean, this is just, just a really nice, nice look there. That coat really isn't um, for me, but the suit is very nice. This is kind of the statement making tie here. Um, it's a little baggy for me, but it looks good on him. That's uh, an interesting coat and uh, kind of like a neat backpack there. All right, moving on. That's definitely uh, a statement. <laughs> so let's just say that. I, I do sort of dig the, um, I can't tell if that's part of the coat or sweater. I don't know if it was a scarf that he's wearing there. Um, I guess it's maybe like it's a really big turtleneck. But like, look at the detail there on the coat. That's interesting. Huh. And his glasses are very, very nice. I like those. All right, next. White pants, let's say that. Okay. Now we're just gonna move on from that. There's David. David always looks good. And uh, we're gonna zoom in. That's a beautiful herringbone on the coat there, double-breasted. I'm gonna, I'll place a bet that that is a Drake's tie and a Drake's scarf, possibly a Drake's shirt as well. Um, David, David has great style, very classic and, and very relaxed. Um, there's an ease about what he does that I always really like. There is Mr. Jonathan Edwards. Jonathan uh, runs Milan style. You should check him out on Instagram. Jonathan is a very, very tall and lean guy. Uh, he's very, very elegant, very beautiful personality. He's such a nice guy. He, um, <clears throat> I'm going to say he works a lot with, with Dominic from Edward Sexton. This is a very simple, classic look. And I mean, look at the photo is perfect. He's blending in. He's got the grays. And anyway, anyway, <laughs> moving on to the, the pants. Um, these are cut perfectly. I love the slight break that he has. And these look to me to be the Hollywood top trousers that Edward Sexton makes. I could be wrong though. So I'll have to find that out. I'll have to DM them or something. But yeah, beautiful look. I like the coat here, but I think the scarf like kind of ruins it for me. It's like candy. Anyway. There's Mr. Matt Hrannick, looking good. He's got a cigar. I'm gonna say that it's either a Partagas Series D number four or number six. Let's see if we can tell if we zoom in. Definitely a Partagas, you can see the red band there, but I can't really tell. Size-wise, it looks like the smaller one. So anyway, oh, one other detail to point out with Matt here. He's got the turtleneck on but then you, we have the, um, the shirt coming up. He's always got like some interesting details like that, uh, whether it's like a, <clears throat> an ascot sort of inside a button up, but not worn like an ascot, sort of like lining the inside of the shirt. It's always really cool. So nice detail. We're just gonna pretend we didn't see that one. <laughs> and uh, really nice corduroy, this is, these are cool. These are very cool. I like the belts. And I think that brings us to the end of the GQ one. Okay, so now let's move on to Vogue. No, thank you. 
All right, here we go. Uh, well, I <laughs> I didn't expect um, to see Nick Wooster as like the first photo of a um, pity slideshow roundup. Um, he's wearing white pants, so there's that. And, I mean, you can't really say much about Nick Wooster. He's he's sort of like does his thing, and and he's the man, and he's like a recognized style icon. But this is kind of out there for me, with the Vans kind of checkered pattern. Anyway, anyway, let's let's just go on. <clears throat> All right, this is um, Filippo, I believe, another Italian influencer. He's always very elegant. I think he's more of like a model now. So. But oh, let's let's point out the um, turtleneck underneath the button-up shirt, which is nice, which we thought might be a trend based on the London video from last week. Mr. Luca Rubinacci, a very colorful personality and the style to match. Very nice guy. Um, whether you can pull off bold colors like that or not, you have to respect this man. He does it well, and he does it with such ease and grace. So, well done. I like the raglan sleeve here. Uh, I think we're starting to see, I remember I said in the beginning that we're gonna see a little bit of a difference between how British GQ covered the event versus Vogue, and I feel like it might be sort of pivoting at this moment, but we shall see. Yeah, I think I was right. So we're just gonna keep moving on here. This is good, this is good. Um, nice, I mean, this is like this guy's thing, very baggy and, and relaxed and, and oversized. And, and I, I think he's been doing that for quite a while. So it works for him and to each his own. <clears throat> so I kind of want to just move on, but before, before I do, I want to point something out here that, that like kind of tips me off that this guy perhaps doesn't belong here. So he's wearing a Solaro suit and it's January. Solaro is typically a uh, summer fabric. So it's odd to me that he's wearing a Solaro suit. He would, I would think of seeing more like flannels, but anyway, not working for me. <clears throat> okay, no. That is the place where people get their photo taken all the time. I mean, I, it's really not much to see here. This is kind of interesting, like a grungy approach. It, again, it's not like what you would think of as regular pity style, but um, I like the layering. It's interesting. It's a good look. That's a good accessory. That's a beautiful dog. Look at that dog. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to like waste your time here. We're, we're about halfway through, more than halfway through. <clears throat> so I'm gonna say that like this guy uh, doesn't belong here. He's just going to get his photo taken because like I don't know. He's wearing the button down. It's unbuttoned, and there was like another one that was unbuttoned before but that looked right, this looks wrong. It's, this looks like a little try too hard for me. There's there's a difference between like being kind of perfectly imperfect and then like trying to do the Im perfectly imperfect thing, but like not really pulling it off. And I feel like this is kind of a good example of that. Beautiful raglan sleeve coat there. Not really feeling the twine holding it, but the coat is beautiful. Love a raglan sleeve. I mean, those guys look cool. Y yeah, no. It's a very nice, it's like a waxed suede of some sort. It's a beautiful hat. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> well, we don't have much farther to go, thankfully. So this is interesting because um, one thing you rarely see are labels at Pity, and I, either this is either like a statement thing or this guy just kind of wandered through. <laughs> uh, and uh, anyway, another label, another label, another label. Okay, and that wraps it up. <laughs> so as predicted, there was a very big difference from the way British GQ covered it as opposed to the way it was covered by Vogue. British GQ, definitely more dapper, more menswear focus. Vogue, a little more of a fashion uh, skew to the photos that were taken. You know, even though I kind of breezed through that on purpose, I didn't really want to waste your guys' time as I know that the dapper looks would be more your speed as they are my speed as well. But, you know, part of the conversation I want to create with these with these reaction videos to the street style is that, you know, even if it's something that you are not personally into, like I would like to kind of create a, a, a climate where we could look at that stuff and even if it's not our thing, find a way to, to <clears throat> take something away from it rather than be like, that's bad and this is good. You know, there has to be an in-between. So everyone expresses their self everyone expresses themselves in how they dress. Some people just, everyone has a different way to do it. And if it's not like yours or mine, that's fine. Um, we should just try to respect that and let them do that. So anyway, um, let me know what you thought of this format. Let me know if any of those looks were cool to you. Leave those in the comments. Thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.